Hello guys, so today I am going to show you how to make a wireless connection in Servilcraft. So first of all, that's our light source, so I am turning it on without any wired connection, only on satellite in the air and on receiver, okay, now turn on, ta-da, I am turning it off, okay, so I will be showing you how to make this in a minute hello guys so today i'm going to show you how to make a wireless connection in survival craft anyway first of all let me thank you for opting to watch my video because i believe most of you must be thinking that this is fake this is not a hacked version or nor any mode anything like that simply this is survival craft 2.1 so the best basic idea is that you should have something to send the signal for the conne uh, wireless connection and something for transferring the connection from uh, sorry signal from your home to the uh, target place that is today i'm going to show you how to turn on the lights without having to make wired connections towards the light source so we will be having some uh, light bulbs in the air which will be turned on with turned on without uh, we have to without having to go there or uh, going there or uh, without having to use any wired connection so without any wires we are going to make or turn on something that is in the fl air floating okay i'm uh, making this for making the satellite Okay, I think this will be enough height for satellite. So now I'm going to make the light source. There are different applications for this, and the one uh, one of the many applications I use it for is uh, when playing split screen. I will be making another video about uh, how to enjoy playing split screen with survival craft. See, split screen is not that um, that much interesting as a multiplayer, but let me tell you, it's enjoyable. It's very fun playing uh, split screen, and there are different ways for enjoying that. I'll be showing it, uh, talking about it in the future videos so please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you will be notified when i'm ready with a new video okay these are for the light bulbs actually i'm leaving one part here because you will soon understand that how we, our uh, wireless will be working so these are the place for the receiver and okay now we will make some connections here wireless doesn't mean 100% wireless the only part is you don't have to have a wire uh, directly from the switch to the the uh, target target i mean this target side that is here light bulbs usually we will have a wire leading from the switch to the uh, that is from the switch to the light bulb so instead of that we will have wireless connections so this will be satellite and okay sorry 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 satellite here our satellite is going to be made mm, for that think this will do something like this and this direction too okay so and for our satellites power power source we will be make, using some random generator 
okay and here we will be placing some lights you can use light bulbs or any leds or any other equipments that you need simply for making it color colorful i'm using like this okay and here we will have to use one sr lets okay here it is so these are the connections we simply need here and okay now let me talk about the theory that is we have to turn give one current here in this circuit this side to turn on the switch turn on the bulb and here to turn off the bulb here turn off in the bulb so for that we are using the signal sent using dispenser so that's the idea we are using dispenser for making our connection wireless so we'll be placing one dispenser here first of all let me mark the on part here okay this is on for remembering i'm placing this okay now we'll take uh, some dispensers a dispenser here okay and another one here shoot accept drop shoot accept drop and in the air in our satellite we will be placing one dispenser like this okay shoot accept drop shoot accept drop okay now for this okay now i think i should clean like this now for the receiver part you can either use target or pressure plate but i prefer pressure plate because otherwise if you are using target uh, you will have to keep up uh, keep on adding new uh, resources for the signal but if you are using pressure plate you can reuse the sing uh, same signal that you sent again and again and for the part of the signal we will be using iron bolt the problem with arrows is that they are very light and they tend to change the direction if you are shooting it vertically upward so there's a high chance of missing our aim five here five there oh, okay one more thing that is you should keep something like this okay now let's test this out that's our light source we don't have any wire connection there so simply by turning on here on i believe this will be working okay what's wrong first of all we should be checking something like this i will will have to break our power supply here to make sure that everything is working properly so for testing again okay i'm testing this like this okay now we should be having two bolts here okay okay now for the random generators connection again this is power source okay and oh i think i made a mistake here it is this is aiming towards here that is a mistake okay so we'll have to rebuild our light source okay that was a mistake sorry hash i was not focusing very well that is there are always 
cope for improvement <laughs> so we are making it again our target was our aim was missed by a few blocks I believe now it's in line okay now I think I will have to test it again like this okay we are replacing it here now we should have to that was a fatal mistake no okay you see our so with a large distance the uh, bolt will be moving downwards so I think we will have to place somewhere like here now we are going to try it again soon so first of all let's make the connections necessary connections first of all okay these bulbs are not enough we will be making more bulbs here otherwise we can see it from that large distance electric uh, electrics light bulb red led sorry red for led okay led okay now for these connections we will be uh, simply placing granites here instead of our throw blocks so that's the point you should uh, note that is if you are keep uh, keeping your target at a far distance you should know that uh, you will be having a lower aim that is your signal will be reaching a lower point than the straight line so prepare for that that's all I have to say So we are going to make one SR large here and some connections like this. Okay. Can test it out. Okay. Okay, before testing. One more thing. Okay. Usually we don't have to place this for uh, this much receivers, but for more accuracy, you have to turn on. So without any wired connection, we are turning on this bulb like this. Okay, now we will turn off it. I believe this will be working soon. Okay, turn off. Ta-da! So that's how you are going to make wireless connection uh, for more applications please stay tuned uh, to my channel strategy game uh, strategy gamer so please subscribe hit the like button if you like it and please share any ideas that you have to that you have about using this wireless connection in any uh, applications so you can use the comment section for sharing those ideas with others and with me thank you for watching and i'm signing out